Hello, everybody. I am Nassau Reyes, and I am here at Haas Pavilion with the man of the hour, Jabari Bird, filming our second episode of Behind the Hype. Jabari, thank you for being with us here today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right, Jabari, there's a lot of things to talk about. I don't know where to start. Five-game winning streak, mm -hmm. undefeated at home, and you especially, you've been playing exceptionally, exemplified by your Pac-12 Player of the Week award. What have been the major keys, as DJ Kyle would put it, <laughs> to you and your team's success? Uh, for me, basically, you know, I'm just looking to be aggressive. You know, I went through a stage of the season. I wasn't uh, too sure, like, when I should shoot or, like, when I should pass. And, uh, you know, this past few weeks, I'm just looking to be, like, just be out there, be aggressive, make plays for my teammates, and uh, just hit open shots when they come, and uh, just make plays overall on the court. All right, awesome. And I know that for you it's been a little bit interesting during the season mm -hmm. because you've been rotating in and out of the starting lineup. And if that was me, I would have been like, yo, coach, what's up? But <laughs> for you, you kept your head down, you worked hard, and now you're playing exceptionally. What has allowed you to come overcome that adversity? Uh, well, for me, personally, I never started as like a punishment coming off the bench, you know? Like, I'm, I'm a team guy, so if coach wants me to come off the bench, I'll do that. If he wants me to start, I'll do that. So for me, I, like, I never took a, I took a day off. I stayed in the gym, I worked on my game. And, uh, you know, coming off like the, the, the Pac-12 Player of the Week thing a few weeks ago, that was big for my confidence to see my work finally starting to show. And uh, I just look to keep the momentum going. All right, sounds good. Well, we need that momentum coming up soon. We got some big definitely, games coming definitely. up. And, you know, speaking of uh, off the court, um, mm -hmm. fashion and basketball have been mm -hmm. greatly associated recently. And I know fashion is a big part for you. Can you explain to me how you how you take care of your fashion off the court? Uh, I do a lot of online shopping, you know. Uh, you know, my girl, she's into fashion. Uh, she keeps me trying to keep me fitted every now and then. And uh, I'm really into shoes. I have, a, I have a nice shoe collection, you know, from Boosh, Jordans, Nikes, all that, like. I think uh, I think I probably probably won the best shoe collection on the team. Okay, that's a bold statement, Jabari. Yeah, I'm, bold statement. I'm definitely top three for sure on the team <laughs> best shoes. Uh, you can quote me on that. All right, well I will quote you on that. We're well, talking uh, about shoes. Jordans are a big part of Cal men's basketball, specifically mm -hmm. the shoes that we wear on the court. For you, what are your favorite pair of Jordans? Uh, I'm gonna probably go with the Jordan 29s. I played those a lot this year, especially the white pair. And uh, we got some some mascot Jordan 29s this year. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, they're blue with like a, a big bear uh, yellow mask on the side. Uh, yeah, we I've got, seen them. They, they do look nice. Yeah, we got those for the, the Virginia game. So I wear those a lot. And uh, we also just got the, the new Jordan 30s. Okay. Those are pretty comfortable. I broke them in today. And uh, you should look forward to seeing us, seeing us wear those against uh, UCLA. All right, well, I'm excited. It's going to look very nice. But Jabari, I want to talk about something. I'm going to throw it back a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, a little TBT. Um, Back earlier in the season, there was Haas Hoop Hysteria I right that. here on this court. And um, <laughs> I got chosen to uh, shoot a half-court shot to mm -hmm. win free books for the semester. Obviously, knowing my basketball limitations, <laughs> I didn't make the shot. And then so they told me, surprisingly, I could pick any guy on the team to shoot for me, you know. Mm -hmm. So I looked over, and I saw that beautiful mustache looking right at me. <laughs> and I was like, Jabari Bird, I see you walking over. I see the confidence. I text my mom, like, Mom, you don't have to pay for books this semester. <laughs> I give you the ball, I'm confident, I'm ready to go, it's a brick. So Jabari, I have a couple questions for you. How can you let me down, and how could you let my mom down? Uh, I felt the pressure, man. You know, I've been playing this basketball thing for a while, and I've never felt pressure like that before. You know, the, the free books on the line, like, I didn't even feel like, I didn't, I didn't feel like I, I had it in me. I wasn't expecting to go up there and shoot that shot. I was over there chilling on the side, having fun. All of a sudden, I get caught off guard, take this half-court shot for your free books. And uh, lay the egg, but you know, <laughs> if I had a second opportunity, I'd probably make it. All right, well, I trust you on that. Jabari, thank you for being on the show. We really appreciate you. I uh, appreciate thank you being here. And we wish you the best of luck with the season, especially with the big games coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, if you want to, would you like to sign us off? Uh, of course. Uh, this is Jabari Bird. You're watching Behind the Hype. And uh, look forward for the next episode coming soon. I believe it was the night after my home run. You know, we went to the, the mall, just, you know, in College Station, and him and my brother, they bought a bunch of fake mustaches, and then that's definitely one of the best pictures I've seen of my dad.